Well, I'm absolutely delighted now to be joined by Dr. Kendra Stewart. Uh, Dr. Stewart, welcome. Thank you. Thank you for taking the time to talk to us today. Thanks. Now, you're uh, giving a poster session uh, today. Tell us a little yeah. bit about that. Well, my poster is about smoking cessation in VA hospitals and the social and cultural barriers to being able to implement that intervention. So the title of the paper is called Smoke Shackles, which is a play on words um, because VA hospitals have designated smoking areas and some people at the VA call them smoke shacks. And so I'm kind of looking at how those present a barrier to being able to implement effective smoking. Well, not effective, but smoking cessation. Tell us a little bit about, outline the problem for us. Sure. Um, so our study was implementing an intervention in the inpatient wards in VA hospitals. So that's when patients are admitted to the hospital, sometimes for acute conditions, sometimes a flare up in a chronic condition. What we were doing was training nurses to counsel patients to stop smoking because veterans in the U.S. Um, have a higher prevalence of smoking than the civilian sector and smoking is a public health concern, which everybody kind of knows now. Um, and so we interviewed nurses to see how the intervention was going, the purpose being to see how we could improve for future interventions. And what we found um, is that beyond the training, which went very well, and beyond logistics and workload sorts of issues, there's a smoking culture in the VA that nurses were faced with. And part of that is due to VA policy and actually the Veterans Health Care Act, which allows for smoking outside of the VA but on VA campuses. So veterans in some hospitals can just go downstairs and smoke if they want to, even if they're admitted. Um, and at the same time, smoking, nurses perceive smoking as kind of the norm. So the expectation was that veterans smoke and they were trying to help them quit. But when you're at that starting point, that kind of shapes, you know, how you perceive things. And at the same time, veterans themselves would sometimes go down and smoke together and things like that. So nurses perceived patients themselves as being kind of a, a barrier in the relationship between patients. And then the third part of what I talk about in the poster is um, nurses' relationships with their colleagues and their perceptions of their colleagues' relationship to smoking. So sometimes we heard stories about nurses who would not want their patients to go downstairs and wouldn't allow them to, but then the doctor would be like, well, you know, this is a non-compliant patient, just let them go downstairs and have a smoke and come back up. You know, it, it, all sorts of things. And so what yeah. did you find? So, so what are some of the solutions to this? Some of the solutions? Um, well, I think the main solution is awareness that these are some of the issues that nurses and other clinicians are facing. And so an intervention needs to be cognizant of the social and cultural factors that are shaping behaviors, not only the patients, but also the people who are giving them care. And so maybe interventions that target the environment that nurses and doctors are working in would be one way. And then I think another interesting way would be a collective approach to smoking cessation. And this might not be practical in an inpatient setting because you know people aren't necessarily there for a very long time, but um, veterans have a shared history and shared experience. So it might be helpful to kind of get at them as a group and talk to them about not smoking and okay and, yeah well thank you very much indeed for talking to us we really yeah. appreciate it uh, thank you thank you